Hello everyone and welcome back to all the mods of Volcano Block where in the last episode we set up all of these bad boy automation miles for each alloy so we've got the infused we've got the reinforced we've got the atomic and we've got the basic control circuit over here and if you take a look we have quite a lot of all of them we've got 65k infused 18 <laughs> almost 19 reinforced and 20 atomic alloys we are going crazy over here if you take a look at the system as well it has been a while and we are loaded with items Oh man, like over a million of graphite and diamond essence and then Inferium, 12 million of those bad boys. Oh, let's go. We are sitting pretty. And not only that, last episode, we also upgraded our CPU over here. So we now have four of these bad boys in a three by three by three configuration. So they can do a whole lot more processing. Uh, one of them's currently processing up some uranium ingots. Oh man, it's real spicy. And nice. we've also kind of upgraded our molecular assemblers and stuff haven't we over here yeah well uh, we've providers. changed the configuration yeah yeah changed the configuration which is i think it's like better yeah it's, it's a better one overall it might be like less efficient than the one we had but it can store more patterns and that's what we're all about over here storing yeah. more patterns so we can auto we can get more done and we then we can use our more. cpus up, upstairs yeah uh, these jacked cpus and do more so who needs efficiency yeah, exactly, when we're just this stacked. And uh, since then, in between the episodes, we have built this nice platform here to carry on with some nice mechanism. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be jumping into the advanced mechanism and making ourselves a reactor and a nice turbine to utilize the steam that comes Let's from go. the reactor. And hopefully we can get some nuclear waste on the go, which can then lead to some uh, SPS. Explosions. Some, uh, some explosions, our favorite nuclear waste Woo! everywhere. You got to love it. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So whilst I set up the um, reactor, do you want to make the juicy chemicals for us? Because we all know yeah. you're the mad chemical I'm man the over chemist. here. Yeah, I'm the mad chemist. Ooh yeah, you're the mad chemist. So before I do that, though, Lewis, I yes. know in order to make all these chemicals, we need a few things. We need uranium ingots to be able to get crushed into yellow cake. Yes. We need right. sulfur to turn into some nice sulfur dioxide. Yeah. And we need fluorite to turn into some sulfuric acid, I believe. Yeah. So all these things, the best way to do it, realistically, is just get farms and farms of, of them. Yeah. But we need the seeds, and we haven't currently got the seeds. So... Oh. Before we st before I start being a giga chemist, okay, I'm we gonna be a little <laughs> bit of a chemist yeah. and get the sulfur dust so we can make the seed. Yeah. Maybe maybe get quite a lot of sulfur dust so we don't have to wait for the seed to make more seeds. And oh, just make that a lot is of true. Seeds. Yeah, that's big right there. Whilst you, I'll, I'm already on it. You know the uh, the fluorite seed. Don't mention it over here. I'm how many on you this bad like boy. Loads? Uh, I can get loads if you want loads. Um, oh, absolutely how, loads. How many are we asking for? Like, how how many loads are we wanting of this stuff? Uh, 20, 25. 25 seeds, okay. So just like one full farm's worth, is that what you're saying? Yeah, Come exactly, in? yeah, that's all what right, I'm saying. that's all good. Uh, well, so I can just go inside of here and start crafting up some of this Imperium essence that we're going to need. 400 should do. Giga CPUs should nice. be able to handle that pretty easy. And also, since last episode, Miles, we have sorted out our reactor. So the big one over here just has the... Um, ME export bus on it with uranium and a crafting card inside so that is all hooked up to our system now and not only that we set up a system with redstone links and the reactor redstone port where once it's below 60 percent um kind yep. of energy inside the reactor it will send a signal to this one over here turning it back on so this one up here is just set to trigger on pulse and then when it's above 70 it'll send another signal over here and that will trigger it to turn itself back off so it's just not wasting fuel now and it's nice. all set up nicely and our small one over here i set up a nice chicken he's just uh, pooping away keeping this Poop one pooping pooping what uranium pooping uranium in this guy it's a toxic nice. chicken over here he's chilling he's keeping this little like one you. happy <laughs> yeah whoa you call me a toxic You're chicken, a toxic chicken. <laughs> oh, that's so rude you I'm there's sorry, no need for that no i'm not having it i'm not accepting yeah. your apology no all right, and see it in the middle. Look at these quests. I know we're gonna be quest hunting for days. Oh, and we're not. We're going big. We're going big here, Miles. You know, as always, go big or go home. We're building the biggest reactor and turbine money can buy. We're going yeah. full 
18 by 18 by 18 and then 17 by 17 by 18 for the turbine nice. it's going to be absolutely amazing fissile fuel uh we're going to need it coming out the wazoo and so no pressure yeah yeah it's going to be super stacked miles got the last two fluorite seeds here for the first farm of this fluorite nice. one uh, i am going to make two of each i think for now um just so we can start getting quite a few we might even have to make a few more but it is on to making some sulfur seeds right now miles we officially have all the farms complete we have two sulfur farms and two of the fluorite farms which are all going into the system down here we have nice quite a few of them they're still all chugging into the drawers which is pretty nice so we should have quite a few of those in no time and then i just need to set up an auto craft real quick over here for each of them which is nice one pretty good so i think well we're looking nice we're looking nice here what have you been yeah, up to pretty sweet over there so over in my little corner here we've got a few a few little machines that are just they're not part of the end game stuff they're yeah. just here as a, a way a means to an end essentially yeah uh so i'm making refined obsidian right now because in order to get the which machine is it it's the chemical dissolution chamber we need yeah. refined obsidian so just in case we need even more where are you i've uh i've dropped off and oh, you know what? i'll place them because i'm kind yeah go ahead There's place four that, that boys. refined obsidian in there for you to make the seed yeah i've got another four here so i can make this bad boy uh where are you there boom and we just need two of these Oh, we haven't got these either. Oh, no, they're super simple to make. Yeah, what One, are these two, and them? Three, four. It's the purple It's the purple logic chip things, the control circuits. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I get you. Uh, it's all good. What does Boom. this want then? Do you know? Hey, quest complete. When you're ready to start, I believe I will be ready to start because if hey. you take a look at that, we've got a tick box. Now we can get the advanced quest line. That's what I'm talking about there. Oh man, I'm I'm itching to make a reactor. I'm itching to blow some stuff up over here. Yeah, I'm ready we need for this, it. Uh, hazmat suit. Yeah, we need the hazmat suits on the go. All right, so this is fully automated here now. Uh, the refined obsidian. That's all good. So I have already set up an auto craft for the casing, but I do need to set up an auto craft for the rest of the stuff, like the reactor glass, which does need sadly enriched iron which is very painful i'm not going nice. to lie to you miles why? Aye, aye, aye. why is it painful um enriched iron is not that bad right no it's not too bad i'm just gonna get a metallurgic infuser oh do we have a spare one anywhere or not i don't think we do uh, metallurgic infuse. infuser no we don't no we don't have one of those that's fine though i can always just make one of them uh in and the question is do you want your own suit of uh hazmatness uh just for style but yeah just in case uh, things happen and things won't happen because you know i'm here but in case anything does go horribly wrong hazmat suit would be preferred if i'm being yeah. honest um, don't worry about it. i'm on it you know what just because i'm auto crafting this i'm gonna put it over here so you can just go right there and it's going to be automated miles i hope you're okay with that uh, so I'm sure you are. Oh, you there? They need a point on it. Hello. Uh, could, could we get him on armor sands by any chance? Nope. It's just getting right into uh, my inventory. I'm, I'm currently wearing mine. You're currently. Oh, you, oh. Do you have it on? Yeah, I do on the visual slots. Where are the visual slots? Am I just insane? So you, cl you click ah, into yeah. your inventory. And it's bottom right of you. There we picture. go. That's better. Now we do fit the role of these guys. Oh man. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. So only. Back, I wanted to output. Can I have the pop be input? I can't, can I? That's really no. awful. I'm not going to lie. So this one's just going to be used for coal anyway. So I'm just going to have it on the left-hand side, the extras, and just inputting on the top, outputting there. And it should be pretty easy. So what are these called? Pattern providers, are they? Pattern providers. So you're actually on to making the chemical stuff now. Yeah, yeah. So, right. We need fissile fuel as the end. So you, with this, you've got to work backwards, right? In order to yes. get a super neat system, yeah. which we all love, well, yeah, you've we do. got to work from the end and go backwards. Because if you don't, you're going to end up having to put pipes everywhere and look like a lunatic. Yeah, so <laughs> pipes there. In order to in in it, 
In yeah. order to get the fissile fuel, it needs uh, uranium hexafluoride into the ice to stop its centrifuge. So that's down. So uranium hexafluoride is a chemical infuser. Good job, I've got one of them bad boys. Nice. And I'm going to place it right um, Yeah. And then can I have coal? And thank you very much. Just bang one piece of coal in there. So that should automatically put in coal. Carbon's going in. Now I just need to get the auto craft for the iron. And you best believe I'm all good. Get the carbon out of here. Just one iron makes one enriched iron. Bang that. Nice. Inside of there. And I should be able to go. So iron, enriched iron. Let's say I want 100 of those. Start next. There we go. That is all nice. done. And I can get some tier upgrades because I made like a stack of basic <laughs> tier upgrades, you know, because I'm as stacked. Do. Yeah, as I do. As yeah, everyone should the, do. Any of these machines over here that need them, we can also use. So we can do. Good. You know. Thinking ahead, Miles. Yeah, good. And then speed and energy can just be automated as well. I'll just get quite a few of those. Uh, boom. Grab two stacks of those. Bang one in there. One in there, and then get the energy out of the system as well. Two of those. Boop. So um, now we need yellow cake, which is an enrichment chamber, which luckily I'm sure I had somewhere, but no, I'll make another one. Yep. Oh, I also need to import into the system as well. So I do need an importer. Importer. And then we're all done over here. Boop, boop. And that can go out the back. The nice. So I remember you saying to me earlier where the yellow cake is getting made, which it's in the enrichment chamber we're yeah. going to want a space leaving so we can stack multiple into one chemical oxidizer right yes that is it yeah just like a, a single a single gap space of yeah so like we could add more along like a line here or going straight yeah, up you can add one. yeah 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 it's just it allows for um expansion later on and that's what we're all about yeah that's fine yeah. i love that we do love expansion so over here we want that inside of there. So if I just go reactor and let's just say casing, I don't know how many I need. 400 for now should do. Is it? Ooh, it's a steel casing per four, but that's fine. We're all good with that. It's fine. We've got loads of steel. I made a thousand steel earlier. I yeah, don't know how far we've got on that. We have 300,000 steel essence. Uh, it nice. seems to have probably got it all. Uh, I think I just used up a whole bunch of whatever you've crafted up. But yeah, that's fine. Over here, I'm going to start making this 18 by 18. Miles, I've set up the 18 by 18 by 18 outline, the footprint for this bad nice. boy reactor. It's just onto the glass and adding the inside now, like the um, fuel assemblies. Now, I'm not too sure how many of these we want. I'm just going to craft up 400 for now. That should do. And I don't think we need too many because it... Yeah. What was that? Yeah, I don't, they don't connect up properly. Uh, just ignore it. It's going to look like that throughout all of it. Now, I don't think we need one like every other one, just because at that point, I think the max burn rate's around like 1,600, but we're right, never okay. going to be able to produce that much fissile fuel per tick. Uh, I can. To, to get that, it's going to be like insane. So the usual one we have like is like a, a oh, hundred whoa, 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 burn before rate. You place them, before you place them, before you place them. What's up? What's up, Doc? You've you've kind of triggered me. This is the reactor. Yep, this is the reactor. Yep. Uh, excuse me? Can you put the reactor here? Oh, I said the reactor's going on. <laughs> you could have said that before. I said that, er I said that earlier. I said I'm placing this here oh. because we want the reactor here. We can have the turbine at that side. I want the reactor a bit further. You just weren't listening to me, were you? I want it a bit further away from everything in case of, you know, accidents that may arise, not due to anyone's fault. Which they won't Lewis. happen. No, uh, no, no, no accidents will you. happen. I never blow up reactors, me. Never. Oh, okay. I guess I will uh, reassemble this over where you are. But to make my life a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is make an infinity wand just so I right. don't have to do all of this stuff. Uh, boom, start crafting up. And there we go. Can now infinitely place stuff down. Isn't that magical? That's so magical, bud. I guess I'm doing this all over again. Uh, whereabouts are you up to on that task, by the way, over there? This task? Who wouldn't you like to know? Just a I bit. have, I think, let me just work work this out. Yeah. I've got an electrolytic separator, Yeah. which that makes me oxygen. So I think this is done. 
If, oh, that's pretty big wood. We just, you just need, need one, two sinks, or potentially one, if we're going to pipe. Uh, there should be an auto craft for sinks, uh, so you can go ahead and do that. The only thing is the bucket of water. That's the issue. I don't really know how to really automate that, if I'm being honest. Do you think? Ah, okay. Just having yeah, a constant is, bucket. That is the that is the issue, so can you not do that to me ever again? Yeah, no, I, sorry, but we are going to need a lot of sinks, so we do need to come up with a solution for that. The solution might be just make a bunch of buckets and just get a bunch of water. I think that's the solution for it all. Um, yep. But over here, I'm going to start rebuilding this again. Very sad times. Miles, I'm just about to put the last layer on of this uh, fissile fuel assembly. There we go. Nice. After being made to relocate, which was very sad. Whew. All I've got to go ahead and do now is get these control rod assemblies. And I need about 60 of those bad boys because I think that's how many there is per layer of this. So there's about a, just shy of a thousand fuel assemblies nice. inside of this thing. So it may be a bit overkill. Who knows? <laughs> uh, I don't think it is. I think it's perfect. And then go ahead, slap all these on top. And it's just filling the rest in with glass then at this point. And Wait a minute. So there's a thousand of these fission, fission fuel assemblies. Yeah. And just we've shy. got one one uh, isotopic centrifuge. Yeah. Power it up. Yep. Yep. Nice. Miles. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Well, it better be on its A game. I want speed and energy cards in all of those machines, Miles, over there. Oh, snap. Don't yeah, worry, about that. you can auto-craft it because you know me. I've uh, done my cheeky auto-crafting, so you should be all Obviously. good for that. Obviously. So real quick, do you know the items that we need to send over here? So we've got three items. We've got the sulfur dust that needs sending over. Yeah. We've got the uranium ingots that need sending over to make the yellow cake uranium. And then we've got the fluorite that needs sending over. Should I put drawers above each machine? Or is there a different way you want it to send these over? And draws is fine. So we will set up another one of these quantum rings just over here so we don't have to run cable everywhere. But yep. yeah, it'll just be item piped in from there to over here. So draws on top or at the side. So like, you know, for this enrichment chamber here, you can just put it at the side so we can then vertically extend upwards. Yeah. And yeah. same with whichever one needs sulfur. I don't know which one that is. So that one's for waste in well uh the fissile fuel in we need one for fissile fuel out i do believe and then I th we just need three don't we if i just do not like that that's where the waste can go for now and then steam can come out of this side as well that should be everything i do believe oh and oh. there is a cheeky little setup which if you check in the quest line will prevent our thing from blowing up so it does require an observer piston, two fish and reactor logic adapters, redstone and gravel or sand. And what it does is whenever it's like on critical damage, it will um, send the gravel up using a piston to the observer and it will stop the system. So if I just quickly demonstrate that. So this is going to save us miles. It's going to save our life, right? Nice. Right here. You're going to love every minute of it. I'm probably going to need about 2,000 of this some ingredients <laughs> wait could not be extracted from the network one uh replan ah there we go that's a bit weird that's i don't rude. know why i did that miles just about to place the last bit of glass down boom and there we hey, go i saw it twinkled the red the annoying thing is all of this uh reactor glass does not connect properly and it is quite yeah, tilting and it's flashing and it is mm -hmm. flashing, yeah. But nevertheless, that is all built. And I can go ahead and set up this uh, observer over here. So the top yep. one wants to be set to activation. And the bottom one down here wants to be damage critical. So <gasps> Lewis, now, there's a floating block inside there. Where out? Yeah, tell me where, Miles. Right behind the bottom red thing that you're setting up now. Uh oh yeah, these loads of them. Just don't look in there, okay? Just don't look in. Oh miles. my gosh, they'll, they'll, they'll despawn soon enough. So what this will basically do when it gets to critical levels, if it ever does, this logic reactor will send a pulse to this piston, shoot the sand up. The sand will then trigger this observer, which will then trigger that um re uh, reactor logic adapter, which will then turn off the reactor and save nice. our entire base, hopefully. And with that, we can now start inputting some stuff. So, with your yeah. 
mechanism well, configurator. Hey, look at that. Looking pretty nice. Yeah, with your mechanism Ooh, configurator, do you want to go configure this bad boy? But to be fair, I don't think you actually need to configure this bad boy. That can just stay how it is because it's inputting just uh, the normal stuff. So you want this Input one armor. over here to be... The output steam. Output steam. Output coolant. Output coolant. This one over and here. Then output waste. Output waste indeed. And then I do need to set up the other one over here. And this one can just be left as input. So this is going to input all of the water we need. So if we take a look into this thing, actually, the max burn rate we can have is 900 per tick with this kind do of it. setup. I mean, yeah, I don't know if we're going to get that far with it. So all we have to do now, obviously, make another quantum link chamber and send everything to these oh, drawers. I'm on it. Which Miles is on. And then make a bunch of sinks to go up the side. Oh, I heard that little explosion. But yeah, make a bunch of sinks to go up the side to then start filling this bad boy with water. And hopefully that should do the trick. And then we should be able to turn this on, produce a bunch of nuclear waste for ourselves. So, yeah, so where where do you want this quantum ring? I've got all the stuff now, I believe. Oh, that's that's wherever you want it. It's as close to this as possible, really. Maybe. Um, just go crazy with it. That's all up to you. But whilst you set that up, I'm going to go ahead and make a bunch of buckets and sinks for us. Let's go in here. That is I've fine. Decided. Yep. Builder's choice. That's all on you, bud. Go crazy. All right, sinks. Let's just do two sacks, 16. I'm going to use these And where sinks does this one go, then? This next one, where is it going? Um, oh, Does it that, go downstairs in the, in the room? Yeah, downstairs in the room, and you need to hook it up with some uh, cable at that point, and then you should be all ready. Miles, I've got about 32 sinks here set up, and nice. in this reactor, we have a whole bunch of water, and I see that everything seems to be set up here, if I'm not mistaken. It is, and I'm going through... Adding some cheeky speed and energy upgrades to everything. Nice. Do you have some pressurized um, pipe just to hook this up so that we can I um, do, yes. get this all show on the road? Going to do that bad boy. Ice topic boom, centrifuge boom, in here boom. and see how it goes. Oh, man. Just making sure I've got everything done. And which one was it? Sorry, these are the gases. Yeah, pressure. Is it pressurized? I think it's pressurized, isn't it? Pressurized. Oh, I've only got six. Oh, one, one two. two, three, four, five. Hey, <laughs> and then you want to output and then we want the back of this. Yeah, just output the, at the back. Gases output. Right, and uh, yep, fissile fuel is going in there. Are you ready to turn this bad boy on, Miles? Oh God, I am terrified. I'm gonna start at a one. MB tick rate. I know it starts at usually a zero point one, but this time I'm feeling a bit confident. Boom. Mm -hmm. activate and there we go so at the moment nothing is budging water seems fine this all fuels going up steam's going up nuclear waste is going up so i'm nice. just going to quickly turn that to about a 10 see how that kind of goes and activate we're mainly just looking at this water out way to see if that yep. goes anywhere but it seems to be holding fine for now with those 32 i don't know what we could kind of get away with at the moment just stop that. Do you think we can get away with like a 50 by any chance? Yeah, I think I think 50 is fine. 50 seems to be holding up. Okay. Fissile fuel is actually going not, down. Yeah, fissile fuel is going down. We're not producing it fast enough. All right, okay. I'm going to get rid of that. Change it to a 20. Boom. We're going to stick with that for now. 20. We're not even really making that much. Miles, your fissile fuel game. What's that all about? It needs to be... Don't worry, I'm on it. Don't worry, bud, I'm on it. ...on the ball. But this seems to be working fine over here. And the next thing that we need to go ahead and do... Oh, it goes up and then down. It's a bit odd. But yeah, the next thing we need to go ahead and do is build ourselves a big turbine. And to do that, we're going to need to get rid of all of this uh, fish and stuff and head over to the turbine section and start getting some turbine glass and some of this structural glass as well. Ooh... Need be... Nice. What's this saying? Oh, it's because I never crafted four of those up. Uh, that I didn't get the quest line. You know how sad that is? I didn't get the quest line for it. Um, I'm very sad. It is very sad, Miles. You, you, you're not wrong there. Let me just craft some more of this up just to get the quest line. That's what we're all about. There we go. And then you can tick these. Oh, so you have to observe the reactor being completed for the quest line. What's that all about? 
Oh, you know, never nice. mind. I made, I made so good. many of these gas upgrades. Yeah. And out of the whole setup, only one machine uses it, which is the chemical dissolution chamber. Hey, that's even better. That's what you want to hear right there, that one of them uses it. But them. now, power's probably the issue. Like, No way. It's not. It's power it's the not. issue. Like, is this turned on, yeah? Yeah, yeah that, well, that, that's flickering itself on and off, isn't it? Whenever it needs to be used. Oh, we're so stacked then. No, that's fine. Why do it? Jack, we're built different over here, and it's time to start making a bunch of turbine uh, stuff. So turbine, um, did I actually put it in to be crafted? I think I did. Did I not? Let me have a look in this turbine. No. Where did I just put that pattern? Did I put them both in the thing, or am I just being absolutely a nutcase? Miles, I'm losing You're the plot being a of it. You're being an absolute nutcase. I also, real oh. quick. I think the the thing we should have done yeah. is where are you? Are you near me? Uh, if you are near fissile fuel, yeah. What's up? Yeah. So see this chemical oxidizer? Yeah. I see it. I think if we move that to the left one, yeah, we we don't need many enrichment chambers. We need more chemical oxidizers because this is full at all times. It's just not producing enough. Oh, yellow cake stuff. yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's my bad there, Miles. But yeah, uh, to improve it, that is what you'd need to do. Indeed, you are not mistaken there. Right. So, I'm going to do that. I'm to start building the 17 by 17 by 18 turbine that we need. So I'm going to start by laying out the nice foundations for this bad boy. Miles, I've got the outline for this turbine over here, and it's looking pretty nice. All I've got to go ahead and do now is start putting the... Uh, turbine rotators in, the complexes, the blades, all of that fun stuff. Yep. Shouldn't be anything too difficult over here. So you're going to craft up a bunch of steel. And all the rotators, I think the max you can have inside of one of these bad boys is 10 of those. So I've gone ahead and made that. And then what we want to do is put some vents around the side. And then I also need some blades as well. Uh, are you upgrading stuff over there? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, so what I'm doing now is I've upgraded the enriching factory to an ultimate one. Ooh. So now we've got all of the allocate uranium we'll ever need. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some more chemical oxidizers in addition to some more ultimate pressurized tube. Okay. Just so we can start so we can start getting through the yellow cake uranium. So that's not the bottleneck. And then I'm going to find out what the next bottleneck is yeah. until there isn't or it's just one of the generic machines until when it's a generic jacked. machine then that's as as good as we get in for now yeah that seems all good to me i'm just setting up some auto crafts over here we're running out of space with our auto crafting for the uh, pressure dispensers and the vents so pressure dispensers so for these bad boys, just do three inches of those, don't know if I need them in it, they need to go next to the rotator complex, so on the same row as it, um, for them. So that's what I'm going to go All ahead right. and do. And then above this, you need to put the electromagnetic coils, but you can only have a maximum of five inside of a turbine, no matter how big or small it is. So we will just be having... Uh, what well, if it's a three by five. three? Can you still have five? If you can fit five in... Yeah, it, I think you can fit five in there, can't you? Uh, you'd be uh, fine. Maybe? Yeah. So yeah, take that, Miles. And I think the smallest you can have is actually five by five. You know, the uh, a five by five well, by five to be there you go. that precise. There we go. They're all done now. And showed me, didn't you? Yeah, I really did show you. And I'm not going to put any saturating condensers inside of this, just because I don't think we need the water from it. And I think that actually turns some of the steam you get into water, which we want that just producing power for us, don't we? And not producing yeah. any water because we do have the sinks on the go that should do all the tricks. We are getting some uh, spiders spawning over here as well, which We're I'm not a massive fan. We're getting skeletons and all sorts. Yeah, I know. We need to really take them out. We've got a real big pest problem. So now on to the vents, which I can probably just auto craft up. Uh, 500 do, right? For those bad boy yeah. vents, they'll be all good. And then this is looking pretty good. So we do need turbine valves. So let me craft up two of those. One's just going to be inputting in the steam. That can go there. And then one's going to be outputting the energy, which can go there. And then it's just structural glass all around. Stop, spider. 
and iced. Um, boom. There we go. Got my. Are you ready for the vent? I feel like you know. Oh, okay. By spawning everywhere, you, <laughs> they're actually spawn. I didn't realize we were spawning on top of it all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What did all you right. think I meant? I thought like on the ground or somewhere. I thought there was just, like a few oh, lingering, no. but no, they they are literally Those absolute nut jobs. Yeah, they are literally everywhere. Okay. That's nice to know, Miles. Thank you for the update on the uh, the nut jobs. Boom, boom, boom. They're lying around here at our base. Got all of them. Um, I need some more cable. Have we got any? Uh, which anywhere? cable? Are you looking for? Uh, I need item. I need purple item and I need purple gas. I have none of that. I have uh, mechanical, and that's about it. You should you should really set up an auto craft for that. The auto crafts are the best. You know, if you haven't noticed already. Yeah. I'm not too sure if we actually have the space for the autocraft, so don't listen to me, please, about setting up the autocraft. Oh, don't worry, bud. Uh, so how many is that? So that's five. I think I'm going to go for six on each row, actually, for vents. Um, that should be quite a lot of those, and that should do the trick for this. Boom, boom, boom. How many more vents do we have? Right. Yeah, you're not going to be ready for this, I'm pretty sure. Usage. Boom, boom, boom. All the power Around that's about that. to be produced. Oh, boom. Ooh, wait, spiders, get off our things. These spiders are going to blow everything up. I can already tell. And these yep. creepers, they're looking at me like they want to blow it up. But I think, Miles. Cobwebs everywhere. That should oh my God. be good now. Yeah, just be careful on top of the reactor as well when you go there. Uh, just in case any of them do actually blow up. That could be very bad. Not going to lie. No, that's going to be real good. Yeah, I know. It's going to be that. amazing. So all I need to go ahead and do is... Place the structural glass all around here, and we should get some red particles and be able to hook this up to our reactor and start getting some juicy power for ourselves. Are you excited? You should be. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. <laughs> I know, you've had to lose control. And, and I think do you I like, like it? it? Yeah. So up I go on to. And <laughs> right, here we go. Miles, is it going to work? First time, yes or no? Place your bets no. now. Uh, that's pretty rude, saying no. I just need a bit more structural glass out of the system. And boop. And boop. Come on. Hey! Rudely interrupted by a skeleton, but nevertheless, Miles, a this... A scary spooky skeleton. A scary spooky skeleton was trying to ice me. This industrial turbine is now built 18... No, 17 by 17 by 18. The biggest one you can make. And nice. I just need some pressurized tube over here to send out all of this steam, which is just chilling inside of our reactor. If you could be an absolute, holy. Don't <laughs> even. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not even saying a thing. You know, that's so jacked what you've just done. Miles, uh, what's it called? It's not pressurized, ultimate. What is it? Uh, it's this one. Yeah, it's pressurized tube. All right, so I need to make the basic, here first. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back. And I had eight. Nice. Yeah? Is that actual? Oh! Miles, what did I say about explosions around the reactor? Please do what not. What was that? I'm I'm flying in the sky. Yeah, creepers. They're just chilling up I here. It jumped off the, yeah, and blew up down on the floor. Just don't get too close to them, okay? Do not right. go anywhere near your creepers. Do you want to come watch this, by the way? I feel like... Uh, In a second, let me just get these... In a second Two. is not an option, by the way. I'm here. Just, I'm here. just to be that guy. Right. And last one. Boop. And Whoa. there we go. So this Holy, is already filling up. GFE. This is producing 17.55 million FE, I think, per tick. And yes, for... Okay, yeah. I think, does that, I think that does our uh, thing over here, if I'm being honest. Our reactor. Uh, Will it outdo the big reactor, though, is the thing? What, the... Oh, the 128 by 128. It, yeah, I mean, yeah. who knows? I hope not, just because of the amount of resources that other one's going to take. I really hope that it does produce a lot of power for us. But we will see. Yeah. I just need to get a plug and smash this on here. And then we should be all good. So boop, boop. And that should hook up to the system now. Bypass limit. There we go. Miles, we've got ourselves a fission reactor with 328, 330,000 MBs of nuclear waste. And nice. we've got ourselves a nice industrial turbine, which is all out of steam now. So it's because it had a backlog. That's why it produced so much. But just sitting normally at this pace, it does 1.14 million FE. 
um, per tick. That's so much, though. That is still quite a lot, considering it is only a burn rate of, what, 20? Which is not a lot at yeah. all. And I can up this now, that since you've upgraded our uh, fissile fuel production... Well, I say I've upgraded it. Like, it, it's still somehow... Like, is it coming out of these machines? Yeah, It's yeah, just yeah. not going in fast enough. No, it's, it's just, like, this used it up so fast. It used it up instantly. That's the thing. But you are starting to get a backlog over here of fissile fuel. We've almost got a million just chilling in here. So we'd have to up the burn rate, and then you'd be all good. But you no, are... but what I mean is, like, from machine two... So machine three upwards isn't getting any yellow cake? Oh, so for this, I would recommend using item pipes from the pipes mod with a round robin and an ultimate uh, upgrade inside of it just because it then goes into all of them. With these logistical ones, it seems a bit weird. They only goes into like the first one. And because it's only sending, it can only send like one like, item at a time, no matter how many is in the stack. It always sends it to this first one, doesn't it? That's kind right. of the issue there. So to fix it, you just need an item, uh, item pipe from the items mod with an upgrade and a round robin, and then you should be all good. But I think Miles, with that, that is a good place to kind of wrap things up. And next time when we come back, we can get the SPS chamber up and running. We can get the fusion reactor up and running for even more power and maybe even an induction matrix to stall all of this power. But with that and with you kind of taunting this guy, get off the edge. <laughs> oh, I'm in the darkness now that he's done that. But yeah, with that, Miles, we are going to go ahead and wrap up the video there. So if you have enjoyed the episode, please make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.